That's how one of these goes. Uh, there we go. Okay. What? Do y'all mind? Get out of here. God. Freaking idiots. Yeah, so we went to Bowling Green for a big like Bowling Green launch trip, and we were at the Corvette Museum, but the Corvette Museum has these go-karts or whatever, and like Lee and Haley wanted to ride the go-karts, and I tried to tell them, you know, we don't have time for that. We're already running late, you know, for our next shoot. And uh, they were insistent. They, I mean, they had a need for speed. Well. They thought they did. Oh my gosh, race day was intense. My palms were sweating. I think other parts of me were sweating. It was just, the gravity of what we were about to do was honestly soul shaking. Uh, what you don't see there is I'm standing over to the side, just kind of uh, trying to cover my face out of embarrassment because for some reason they go to get in the go-karts and they just start walking like insanely slow. Like they are just crawling to these go-karts. And there's people there watching. It's the most embarrassing thing ever. Like there's people standing there waiting to get on go-karts too, and they're just This is an epic track as we all know. It's uh, configured a little differently than most of the tracks that I'm used to. For instance, I-65 and 75, where it's pretty much Dwight D. Eisenhower straight stretch. We're gonna let you go ahead and start warming up. Um, I was terrified, to be perfectly honest, thinking all my training has led up to this, which was racing in the backyard of my friend Kara's house when I was 13. It was important for me to get a good start. Uh, I knew that. I, I wanted to assert my dominance right away. Um, and I haven't seen that much rubber since high school. I was like, all right, I'm ready. I'm doing this. We're going to race. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to give him my all. And then, nothing. My God! My little engine that could simply could not. It's like there's two pedals on this cart. There's a go pedal and a stop pedal. It's not rocket science. It just felt fast that day too. You know, I don't know uh, why she was so much slower than me, but it could be water weight. I feel like I am too low class to know exactly what Formula One racing is, but this has got to be like Formula Six or Seven. My God. It was just boring, man. I love seeing adult people ride 10 miles an hour around a hot racetrack for a form of entertainment because watching paint dry was getting too boring. <laughs> Woo! 
they were super fast. Like in one of the straightaways, I got scared every time, even though I was in control of the car. And every time I was like, ah! All I see are just little like, Who's the winner in that? What is the purpose? Honestly, by about the halfway point, I wasn't even watching anymore. They didn't see the, what they missed, what they missed was greatness. I mean, how often do we get to witness some achievement of mankind that we all marvel at it? What I did was raise the human experience. Okay, true or false? True or false? Just answer this. Did I go past the checkered flag first? Did I? Look right out loud. I lapped the girl. That checkered flag wasn't for her, it was for me. She had another lap to do. To be honest, like, there was no winner. You know, at the end of the day, everyone was a loser.